I am a football manager god. Dogs, get your collars. We're going to rent a flat. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. Yeah, yeah. A little pat on the back. I've done all right, boy. What? Done all right. <laughs> yes, boys. We've gone three games without losing, without even drawing. Or I could just said three games we've won in a row. But, you know, not the best performances. The last one was decent. The other two, one was very lucky, one was a bit lucky. But it doesn't matter, boys. It doesn't matter. We've done business in the transfer market. As expected, it's proving very difficult to spend £669,000 when you're a semi-pro team. <laughs> right? But I have spent money. Four grand. I don't think it wasn't last just signing on fees. I think it's about £2,500. I'll have a look. Um, we've got the wages up to £4,500. The, the, the issue I have that I'm that I'm worried about is long-term financial stability. So as you can see, for the last four years, this club's been making a decent amount of money. They seem to get about half a million each season from somewhere, maybe just being in the league, prize money. I don't know. We'll find out at the end of the season. Um, but my projection is still pretty decent. It's still pretty good, but we definitely have to keep an eye on it. Obviously, we're not going to spend that anyway. We're going to keep, keep it as low as possible this this we don't want to just use all our wage budget up because that would be financially irresponsible but let me take you through the transfers first up we've got kenneth jones johans johnson i don't know why i call him jones kenneth johnson um from all's um he's not joining us at the end of the season um he is pretty damn good he's got amazing physicals he's got some very he's got some decent gaps in his game but he's not joining to the end of the season. But we've still done some uh, bits, my friends. As you can see, look, I bought a player for 500 quid and 2,000 pounds. <laughs> I didn't even negotiate. You know the scout report, it said they're going to want between anywhere between 600 and 1,900. And I just flopped me wad on the table and said two grand. They were like, yeah, go on then. So we've done some work. So after the last two that you saw, Pedersen and Rasmussen, we bought Sebastian... Fagaras, that's demonetized. Um, a 21 year old Norwegian, five star potential, solid all rounder, good playmaker potential, passing ability. First touch is a bit nah, uh, vision's okay, but decent free kick taker as well, which is fantastic at this level. Good decision making, which is really important. So he's got everything for a playmaker apart from his first touch, right? But not a bad player, 21 years old, five star potential. He's on 65 quid a week. Um, very happy with that pickup because a lot you've got to remember all but one of these clubs are semi-professional and having checked a lot of these clubs four or five players are under contract same as us four or five players are under contract four or five players are uh, just non-contract so you can just go gobble 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 nom, 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 noms so that's what we've basically been doing so um Fagaras is in we've got christian sandness on a free transfer he's our new really decent young goalkeeper um because I'm worried about our previous captain that wants to leave kicking up a fuss. I wanted somebody good and young that had a bit of potential that could come in. Hairline. Um, another guy on 60 quid a week. 19 years old. Very happy with that. Um, next up we have Sindra Henriksen from... So we raided Sognal, Sognal, um <laughs> Sorry, Sognal. Um so this this guy cost actual cash money. It's 500 quid, right? He's not very good. <laughs> Decent physicals. Decent physicals. Um, I needed somebody that could play left wing back. And that was the by far the hardest position to fill, especially because I was looking for somebody quite attacking. So I could find really good defensive full... Well, good defensive fullbacks, but couldn't go forward to save their lives. So a first touch of eight and a crossing of eight dribbling of six was top end um he's only 18 years old as well got a bit of potential he's not going to be here for a long time he's here for a good time so that's Sindra Hendrickson um he's on 170 quid a week because he wouldn't take any less and we were desperate uh here we got Orjan Soflatten 
is our new in inverted winger on the left-hand side. So he's going to play here. Just a really solid all-rounder in his prime. He's on. He's one of our big spenders, 300 quid a week. Um, but I think he's really good. And again, another position that was really hard to fill. But I think he's going to do well. And next up, we have Alex Kwawik. Kwa Kwa uh, just a backup young right back, um, uh, right winger, sorry. Just a solid all-rounder. <clears throat> Uh, this guy I was really happy is Torbjorn Arbreck. And not not from, you know, the game that's just escaped me. You know, that game, Overwatch. Um, here's our new deep-lying forward. I need, as we saw with the previous guy, our back at our main, our second striker had like seven finishing and stuff like this. This is, he's, this guy's a decent finisher. Like, decent enough, double figures, take it. But he's also a good passer of the ball, which you very much need as a deep line forward and a solid all-rounder. On his debut, last game, scored himself two goals. <laughs> he's 31, but he'll do for a season or two. I'm very happy with that guy. And finally, we got Mads Holden, who he spent 2K on. Again, attacking right-backs are an issue. Um, probably didn't need to spend 2K. 2K, uh, 2K on this guy, but again, physicals. Uh, I really rate, pr probably more than anything, in lower leagues, physicals. If you've got a guy that could just run about for days, that covers up a lot of the other, well, being shit at football. So, three-star potential. He's on a decent cash money as well, so um, he's coming in as well. So, there we go. My transfers are pretty much done. I've come back a game early because, you know, I'm so confident. Uh, we're playing Strauss Blink next game. We're off the bottom. We're equal points already with Viking 2. We're going to march our way up the league like a big marchy thing. Like the month of March. Right. <clears throat> so, I'm happy with the striker. We have already know that Hegem's good. We do need him to start scoring goals, but he did well last game out. Arbrecht is going to come and do bits. Saw Flatten is our new inside forward or inverted winger. That, that I'm not used to that position and saying inverted winger. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what I have done is, that although I brought that left back in, uh, Mats Hesjeral, who again, not the best, but he was here before. He was our star talent. I'm going to give him a chance and he's doing right. He's doing all right. Um, and Michael Lies playing in goal and he's doing, he's doing fine despite wanting to leave. Wants to move to a bigger club. I'm not sure where you're going to go, mate. You're not like that good. So, uh, yeah. So, and the tactic, I might have just nailed it. <laughs> like, I haven't really changed anything. Maybe one little bit, I don't even remember. We've not had to change too much. So, I'm going to play two games today, because I'm hoping this wasn't just a flash in the pan. But, you know, the players have got to love me. The managerial support's good. Dressing match is very good. The Keesian's going to obviously take a hit because of the new players. Um, let's have a look. Here we go. Winning them over. Winning them over. Yes, come to me, children. Right, let's do it. A lot of the new players are in. It's going to take a bit of time to gel, but they've kicked on already and done well so far. Um, pick up where you left off, boys. Yeah, look, let's see. They respect me, so it goes green when I say something nice about them. That's how it's supposed to work, game, yeah? Bit of respect goes a long way. Right, come on, let's have a good performance. I don't expect us to go like straight up, push up straight up the leagues, and you know, we're we're still a little bit off the pace, and we still have, as you saw, a couple of weak areas. But for a little, only add a month, and as you as you know, I generally like to get a full scout report on a player before they sign them. You don't need to do that because if you could, if you if you're playing with um, hidden attributes off, then you theoretically could just go and look for exact numbers and stuff. But I always like to just get a proper scout report, let, even if they're not the best scouts, let them know what they think of the players. Fagaras, lovely. Oh, it's cheeky. Good interception. One annoying thing, you know that centre-back, there's also a striker. For the first three games, I think, he, I played him as a centre-back, Okay because we were lacking somewhat in the centre-back department. And I got that stupid uh, press conference thing. Pops up saying, what do you think about his poor run of form? He's not scored many goals. 
because he's playing as a fucking centre-back game. That's why he's not scoring many, because he's not a striker. I was hoping, you know, they would advance enough the game that it could just, you know, know that you're playing him as a centre-back. I don't think it's too much to ask. OK, we're getting murdered. Just want to point that out. Did I speak too soon? <laughs> We're going to have little blips along the way, boys. All right? It's, it's expected. They haven't had, a, like, one-half chance, so it's not it's not desperate. But Okay, corner ball. I've set up set, set pieces as well. It's gone deep. Good catch from Hagen. Come on, boys. Right before half time. It's time for an attack, lads. Winners. Winners. Nice, Ericsson. Okay, bit of a soft challenge there. Looked like he pulled out. That's what she said. Easy. Rasmussen, turn your turn around, but <laughs> still walking backwards. Oh, Rasmussen tries to get a foot in. Okay, only one of you needs to close the guy down. One of you go to the other one. Jesus! Valorant out! First goal of the season. Because it's always the first goal of the season. Just bang one in from 30 yards. Alright. I'll, I'll let you have that. <clears throat> <laughs> like no backlift either. All right, you can have that one. Oh, that was disappointing, boys. This is the first proper, di you know, like I said, the first two games that we won. One was, I would say, lucky to win. The other was like probably a draw would have been fair. Last game, we definitely deserved to win. This game, not so much. All right, Strand. Interception, Arbrek. That's what you're there for. Hegem. Come on, mate. Get forward, though, lads. Nick, give him some support. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's beautiful. Oh, it's onside as well. Arbrek scored again. 12th goal of the season. You know, nine of those were for the previous team. And we've picked it back. We've not deserved it. But we are devastatingly clinical. Hegem into soft Latin. Arbrek cushion volley. Bottom corner, you don't you can pick it out, son, pick it out. <clears throat> I was gonna change things up, but I due to them not having oh that's dodgy defense that is. Oh, due to them not really having many chances and their goal coming from a absolute thundercunt. I'm not too worried. How's how are we playing, boys? Hegem's having a bit of an off day. Fagaras is not doing great. Hey, when you're learning the team and you're like, which is my backup? Oh, it's Nerlin. <laughs> it's my backup deep line playmaker. Um, let's bring on our Sandal, our striker. Centre back. Um, we got Nutson who can play on the left hand side, but Saw Flatten's doing all right. Okay, that'll do. I think we'll stay cautious. I'll take a draw from this one. If we can. Ten minutes left. Lie with a goal kick. I might need to change this. His his goal kicks are terrible. Might need to change that up. Oh, lovely. Hegum, he's had a poor game. Tries to go near post, but Hagen Dars makes an easy save. Sort of flatten. Waiting for the overlap. There it is. Tries to play it around the corner. Pretty poor that was. Oh, he's onside. Easy for lie. Tips it over. Take the draw, boys. Take the draw. Take the draw, please. <gasps> That's the fucking goalkeeper's missed that, isn't it? Oh, that's the goalkeeper. He minulated it, didn't he? Look. Oh, it's all got flicked on, to be fair to him, but... Yeah, he's got to do better, though, isn't he? You don't come for that if it's never going to reach her. Oh, man. Okay, it's all right. We go again. Don't concede another one, though. Just because I've done my set pieces, can we not concede another set piece? Oh, he's missed the header. Oh, no. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, it's offside. Yes. Pity offside. Oh, he just whiffed it completely. Who is it? Pedersen. And then he's... Oh, there you go. It's fine. Thanks. Thanks, Lino. Cheers for that, buddy. All right. Okay, fair enough. Didn't create enough. 
They're seventh in the league. They're half decent side. We'll take that one on the chin. <clears throat> Who we got next? Viking two. Okay, they're eleventh in the league. So this is oh, this this is the team we want to leapfrog, and they've got a game in hand. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's hope for a little bounce back. All right, admittedly poor performance. All right, I'm gonna put. We'll give you Ericsson another game, I think, to prove yourself. Um, the left back's doing great. Yeah, I think we go again. We need to work out. Fagaras has not really set the world alight so far, but we'll at least give him a half. I'm also going to keep me on the goalkeeper. Actually, no, he wants to leave. Fuck him. Christian Sanders is getting in with his eyebrows. Yeah, he's played plenty of football. Look at those ratings. Banging him in. <laughs> hey, be fine. Right. Let's do it, boys. Come on, bounce back. These are a poor team. We're playing them at home. They've not even... Can't even afford numbers. What? Okay. We can move out of the relegation zone, boys. This is it. This is the dream. I'm... A little bit worried that those three games were just like the oh new manager fun time and then we're gonna be shit again. So just just it'll be fine. Alright, it'll be fine. <clears throat> this is not supposed to be the most attacking tactic that gets a ton of ton of highlights. It's supposed to be solid and gets a couple of good chances that we need to take. Okay, Cosberg has taken a knock. A bruise. Oh, man, up is a bruise. Can you get subbed off for a bruise? Okay. No, not from there, mate. All right, nil-nil. <laughs> it's a classic from two giant teams. <sighs> Dig in. Get Give everything by. Are we taking him off for a bruise? No. Well, he's playing terrible as well. Okay, yes. Um, you're the man. He's got four crossings, so you know he's a good winger. <clears throat> Sorry, I forgot to put the other one on the bench. What about old Lannister? Six crossing. Okay, it's not great either way. What's the possession like? Oh, horrific. Okay, let's keep it cautious for the time being. Let's, let's uh, show us a high night. Wow, this is the dullest. I'm just going to go attacking just because I want to see something. Come on, boys. <laughs> okay. Well. I'm bringing Thor Lannister on because with his seven finishing. Um, how's Fagaras done? Yeah, 6.7, and he's and he's focused. We don't have a ball-winning midfielder to replace you, so just be better, mate. Come on, boys! Let's see a highlight! I'm embarrassed how bad this this is. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm not the greatest football manager ever. All right. Where, where's he come from? Has he just been off for a piss? Lucky he's letting himself get into position before he takes the kick. No, this can't be the way that it... Fucking hell, that's so bad. <laughs> oh, no. That defence. Look at it. Look at that. I'm glad we're playing with a deeper line. Oh, that's that's just... I have no words, boys. I have no words. The draw, fair enough. We were both utter shit. But to then concede that, that's, that's, her, that's so bad. And we're back bottom, four points adrift. God damn it. Are we going to be shit now? Oh, no, that's so bad. I got to keep it to 6.6. .6. All right. Maybe it's not quite solved. Right. 
But we'll play a few games. We've only got seven games left for the season. Oh, crap. I didn't realise we were so close to the end of the season. Okay. How many got? What have we got? Six games left. Hang on. Is there a split? Wait. I think it's just play each other twice. Yeah, 26 games. Yeah, yeah. And then promotion, playoffs, relegation stuff. Yeah, okay. And you just relegated. There's no playoff survival relegation thing. You just relegated. Okay. I'll play two games. And then we'll come back for the <coughs> last couple of episodes. We'll do the last four. Because they, you know, might be quite important. Right, I'm sorry for boring you with the absolute shit show. <sighs> Is that going to be it? Is that little green ray of hope? Followed by a red sea of death. Ah, bollocks. Right, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you really like highlightless matches, apart from just one kick down the middle that resulted in a goal. If you like that sort of hot action, then leave a like and I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.